This week, we're going to go in the direction of Totoro, Naruto, and the last airbender. Where are we going? Deep into the matrix. Deep into, deep into the matrix. The matrix. We're going to start out easy with just a simple Totoro picture. Upload that, get started painting what that feels like, what it's going to look like. Then I'm going to add layers to that and just see how it goes. So simple, then complex. This is a photo of Totoro or a download of line art of Totoro. You can find your own line art anywhere. I'm going to go into the inside and just start to color this in. And then we're going to work on the outside. To start out with, you're just going to use a paint bucket. You could use another layer and also do it that way, but we're going to use paint bucket to start. So there's a paint bucket. So in this section of the video, I'm going to kind of go quickly through and just dump paint in different areas to show you the basics of understanding how that works. If you were using Photoshop, you'd probably be selecting the areas in order to make it not go into different areas. But this is a pretty straightforward line drawing, and I just want to show you the basics of how to fill it in quickly and understand the process. This next part is important that there's a new layer that you're painting on. So this new layer is going to be set to multiply and then we're going to paint right on the layer. So it doesn't go over the black lines when it's on multiply. And it's okay if you go outside the lines a little because we are making a piece of digital art that we can adjust later and even erase parts of kind of the over coloring. So you have a lot of flexibility when you're painting on layers. And this is like one of those things you can do just about any painting program or even Photoshop. But I like painting digitally this way too. It's, oh, I changed the color a little bit. That's okay. Kind of looks nice like that. It gives it a hand done feel. I'm just using a mouse right now because I have Procreate and all that stuff set up, but I don't really want to do. I want to just do simple painting sometimes without it being too much. So the erase, I'm going to go in and erase the eyeball. We'll fix that later. And then I do want to use the, the, um, paint bucket on his umbrella. Darker on here. And then his ears, I do need to paint his ears. Oops. So then I'm going to flip back to this layer and do a quick background color. So that's a good start. Um, you can go in and, and definitely do more to the umbrella and things like that, but that's a great start. So one of the more fun things to do now would be to add in some other element. Um, like let's say you wanted to add some avatar last airbender pieces um, just for fun. I'm going to add him right there. So if you put that there and then you go to the layer, uh, multiply, do some fun stuff with with layers and the multiply setting with layers is just a fun way to add things to especially with line drawings 
I'm not sure what will happen if we try to color him in, so I'm going to try it out. Yeah, see, that works. I know. I'm just picking random colors. So line art on top of line art is kind of a fun way to add dimension, etc. etc. So you see what we're doing here is adding some more just dimension and different things. All right, so just a quick example of how to do layers with line art using Totoro, Naruto, and The Last Airbender. Last Airbender, the Last Airbender. Thank you for joining me. It's been fun.